Welcome back to another OMLAB tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at something called um, arrangement markers. Okay, We're going to explain exactly what they are, how to set them up, how to use them, give you a couple of tricks and tips to use in your own projects um, that will hopefully not just speed up your workflows and make things a little bit easier from that perspective, but also help to make things a little bit more intuitive um, and more natural feeling just as far as mental processes goes and how we're looking at our projects and engaging and interacting with them. Um, it's the digital age folks we've got a lot of neat bells and whistles and toys and tools to use in programs like this um, and it's about getting the most out of them uh, working smarter not harder and that's uh, hopefully what today's lesson is going to help do for you. Um, so this is just a, a, a really basic project. We're not even going to listen to it. This is, we're again, just trying to stay with the focus of keeping things as simple as possible and as accessible as possible to users of all experience levels and skill sets. Okay, um, so uh, let's try and uh, correlate in our minds uh, the idea that uh, the nonlinear workflow of a DAW, uh, this is Logic Pro, but you can use any DAW and follow along with this the same, um, Ableton Live, Cubase, Fruity Loops, Reaper, whatever. Um, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, these rows and we can highlight any of them and when you compare this to another program that we're all used to like a spreadsheet program let's say Excel or numbers or something it's it's very it's very common nowadays uh, to just be able to grab onto a row like this and drop it down here and maybe grab another one and move this up here and move this up here and we all know just from experience in working this way in this nonlinear fashion that those things are not going to harm the information or the actual way that things work inside of that project. It's simply a visual aid. It's an organizational tool. Okay, um, but in DAWs, uh, by default, you know, this is all we really get is to work with rows. But there is a way to turn on columns as well, meaning that you could take big chunks of your project and move them around vertically as well instead of just horizontally. Okay, or select an entire track or column instead of a track. Okay, uh, and that is hidden in the global features. Well, not necessarily hidden, but tucked away. And instead of using a keystroke here, I can actually use the button so you can see where to access this. Okay, you hover your mouse over it for just a second and you'll see show hide global tracks. And that is exactly where we find this. Again, this is called an arrangement marker. So here we are, arrangement. It's not to be confused with a normal marker. Normal markers don't actually have um, like a, a tangible function in the same way. They're simply just like little bookmarks, okay? Um, or dog ears or whatever you want to call them. All right, so um, arrangement, we click this little plus uh, to add one. There is no delete button to remove an arrangement marker, but that does not mean that you cannot remove them. You just simply position your your pointer of your mouse at the end of uh, the region and click and drag back, and that's it. So swipe left, deletes it, plus button, adds it. Okay, it's as simple as that. So we'll go ahead and we'll add this. Um, and you know, by default it says verse, but we don't want verse. Let's change this to intro. And you know what? That isn't even the whole intro. So let's just go ahead and drag this out to 18 or to, to, to 16 bars. Okay. So, uh, and you know what? We maybe not even like that uh, name. So let's rename this and we'll just call this um, awesome intro instead because it's a really awesome intro. So anyway, uh, it's as easy as adding the next one by just simply clicking the plus button again. Um, and again, we can set this up however we like. Um, and we can rename it whatever we want. Um, and as many times as we continue to click on this, um, regions will continue to appear up here and then it is up to us to resize them how we see fit or delete them. Um, and there are a bunch of different reasons that we may want to use this. Um, it's perfect for the traditional um, old school building block approach to creating digital music where you set up one thing and you loop it or copy and paste it. Um, and you can do that very easily here. Uh, let's say that um, just for giggles that we want to take this uh, and right now it's called an outro, but let's just switch this over to a bridge or something. Uh, we'll highlight it by clicking on it here and then we'll just shift this over and we'll put it right here. 
Okay, so now that just moved that entire part of the arrangement for us. We did not have to go through and select things individually. We can undo it by uh, just hitting Command Z. Okay, and it, it undoes the last action there. Uh, you can also go through and delete very specific columns of, of regions and data in your arrangements. Um, and it will even take care of the, the chopping of the MIDI regions and everything. Again, you just click on it like this to select the actual uh, column, and then you click Delete. And as you can see now, everything in here um, is gone, and this was turned into a new MIDI region, even though this was all just one big loop before. Okay, uh, So there are just a ton of different things that you can do with this to help you uh, make your music making process a little bit easier and a little bit more intuitive and natural. Okay, We've got the ability to do all these things by default in the rows, so why not add the columns um, option that we're all used to when working in programs like spreadsheets and stuff. Okay, So again, uh, this is called um, arrangement markers. Okay, You find them in the global tools area. Um, and it's as simply as uh, swiping back to delete click in the plus line to add a new one. Uh, the functionality is very similar in other DAWs. Um, we hope you've been able to follow along if you're using another DAW uh, without too much hassle. Um, and as always, we hope that this helped to clear the air a little bit um, and eliminate any confusion there may have been around this topic. Hope you can put it to use in uh, your very next project. Thanks for checking it out, and we will see you again soon. Cheers.